Good morning. I'm out of focus. It has been one hell of a week. When did we last vlog? Was it last week, last? Uh-huh, I think it was Friday we last uploaded. I have had one hell of a week, and if you follow me on Instagram, you might have, you probably heard all about it, but. Strap in, because she's gonna be talking for a while. Oi. <laughs> I have had basically, I've been really ill the last week, and um, I've been to the doctors, and I think it's IBS, and to cut a long story short, a few months ago, you may have watched or heard me talking about the fact that I was having issues with gluten and wheat when I was eating bread or anything with wheat in it or gluten in it. I know that there's a difference, but whenever I was eating those things, I would get sick, I would get bloated, headaches, brain fog, um, I'd break out with spots on my chest, I'd feel lethargic, I'd have to go to bed. It's pretty bad and I went to the doctors, I had a celiac test and I wasn't celiac. And then, um, luckily, I'm very happy that, that I wasn't found to be celiac because that would have been more serious. And then I was fine. I was managed to I managed to deal with the symptoms because I just cut out gluten and wheat. I had a few instances where I accidentally ate it and then I immediately got sick again. So I was pretty sure that's what it was. And then this past week, I suddenly became really ill again after eating anything, basically. I thought it was because I accidentally ate some mold in a tub of hummus, but I didn't actually eat it. I spat it out. And when I went to the doctors, she reckons it's got absolutely nothing to do with the mold. That's just a coincidence. But I connected it to that because it happened the day after. And I thought, oh, my stomach's sensitive. Maybe the mold has upset my stomach. I've got a bit of food poisoning, but... Basically, I just started to feel like I had like heart palpitations. I started to get insane stomach cramps, which I never got from gluten and I wasn't bloated. So it was kind of like a different set of symptoms. Um, but yeah, I started to get insane stomach cramps and lethargic, like nothing else, like exhaustion. Um, like I had to go to bed and I had to fall asleep and um, kind of brain fog and kind of like migraines. Like I had to go under the covers and headachey and tiredness but the weird thing is i haven't had not to like go into too much detail but my like bowel movements haven't been like bad or anything i haven't had diarrhea or constipation i've just not been going to the loo as much because i'm not able to eat as much because anything i've been eating has been upsetting my tummy and the main issue is the stomach cramping and the just overall feeling of exhaustion that i get after eating so I went to the doctor, she says she thinks it's IBS. She says my stomach feels fine, it doesn't feel hard or anything. That's kind of where we're at now. And I've contacted a dietitian because I don't want to have to figure this out alone. I did share on Instagram that I was gonna try, what the doctor recommended was to look up a low FODMAP diet. Um, but upon like further investigation, I've realized that that is quite a restricted diet, especially if you're vegan. And it's also quite complicated. So a lot of people were messaging me, a surprising amount of people were messaging me, saying that they also have IBS or they've struggled with it in the past. So many of you have messaged saying that you've been struggling with it for like 10 plus years, which boggles my mind that how someone could deal with this for so long. It's just so awful. I've dealt with it for a week and I've not been able to do any work and I just feel terrible all the time. So I feel so bad for people who've been dealing with this for a really long time because I think that it's something people don't talk about and people just deal with the symptoms and just live their life feeling crap all the time a lot of you have said about the low fodmap that you're trying it or you want to try it or you've thought about it or you have tried it and it was really difficult or you've tried it and it's worked and loads of you have given me great advice and um someone actually who i follow called laura thomas phd i think that's what she's called on instagram i love her she's so amazing and she messaged me because she's a dietitian and she messaged me saying i'd be wary of trying the low format diet alone especially if you have a pass of an eating disorder because it can be very restricted and also it's just not recommended to try it alone so she said you should probably try and get a dietitian and um because then they can help you figure it out a lot, a lot quicker and if you don't know what low fodmap is it's basically a diet that cuts out certain foods that have been found to irritate people. So you basically go on a completely restricted diet of nothing. Well, foods that aren't shown to irritate people's bowels and stomachs. And then you reintroduce certain groups of foods, like you reintroduce like foods that are high in fructose or foods that are high in, I don't know, like avocados or bananas. And you figure out what it is that's hurting your stomach and you go from there. But I think the issue of doing it alone is that you can end up taking forever to do it because life gets in the way. And the idea of reintroducing foods that are gonna upset your tummy when you have a social life and a work life and it, yeah, it's hard. I've been talking for five minutes. I probably shouldn't go into too much detail because I'm gonna talk about this in a video on my channel. But I just wanted to like, because I know that people who follow on here, they kind of, you're like, 
people who want to know more about everything and I kind of we kind of talk about other things not related to my other channel in more detail so I just thought I'd share and for now oatmeal seems to be the only thing that's not upsetting my stomach I've tried soup and that seems to be still upsetting me so I can't put my finger on what it is so hopefully this dietitian gets back to me and I can meet with her soon so we can figure out together um, I'm thinking that the reason that I've had a flare-up is because of stress because I'm the type of personality that doesn't really give myself time off and doesn't really switch off so I need to work on that and today I meditated and I'm gonna do yoga later and I've had a week where I've not been working basically I've been watching Love Island and Disney movies and lying on the sofa and having lions and napping and I haven't done that since moving here so I think it's a wake up call to me to realize that I need to take time off and I need to take care of myself because as much as I do take care of myself, I'm not necessarily being present when I am and I'm not necessarily allowing myself to switch off and get off social media and um, just, I'm not really doing that for myself. Anyway, that's where I'm at now. Today I'm, is the first day I'm gonna attempt kind of going back into work a little bit. Um, we're gonna film some video, some recipes for a video and see how many I can do because I'm feeling okay now because I've just had oats so um but I'm a bit I feel like I just want to eat oats because I know that they're nutritious and they're filling and I know that they're not upsetting me so I kind of feel like I just should stick to that until I know what's what's gonna what's gonna happen but also in other news my laptop is acting up so I think we're gonna go get a new one yeah. because I've had my laptop for six years is it uh five or six yeah since five university and it's um a macbook it's over there and it's a good computer but it is like the lowest version of the macbook pro at the time so it has a really yeah. small hard drive really small processor was, was it refurbished when you got it no it was brand new oh, okay but um you got a student discount didn't you? yeah i got a yeah. student discount on it but um i've just it's it's just reaching the end of its life and to do what i do video editing it's really slow to export and to it like lags all the time and last night i dropped it on the floor and um, the wireless connection, the Wi-Fi connection is not working anymore. So I'm gonna see if they can fix it. I feel like that was just like the last straw of things going wrong. Cause it just, I'm sure you've seen in these vlogs, there's lots of things that go wrong with my laptop. So we think it's about time I just go and get a new one. And it's a lot of money, but I think that it's obviously, it's an investment for my job. So it's very exciting because I haven't, yeah. I don't think I've ever spent that much money on a, an item before. Here we are, browsing the store. But how, do you, I don't think I've ever spent that much money on one thing before in my life. I feel like such no, an adult. Not even your bike. No, not even my bike. My bike was not that much money. It's really in funny when you become an adult, the things you have to spend money on. Yeah. Because you just like, that's <laughs> so much money to spend in one one go. Mm. But um, hopefully this will make my life easier. And I think I deserve yeah. it after the week I've had. Because it's, it's not been fun this week, has it? No. So who else does this on the Apple store where you just add everything <laughs> to the list and what does it say what's the price 2700 yeah. pounds <laughs> over double the price i did it with the imac pro the other day and then it, it went over to 10 th yeah yeah it was over 10, 10 grand. pounds for like my laptop has eight gigabytes of ram this had 128 gigabytes of ram like four terabyte hard drive like insane processor <laughs> yeah so we're gonna go do that and also my sister got me a massage for my birthday back in january and i'd never claimed it because I don't ever give myself the time to do stuff like that. So I thought, you know what, this is the week I should go get a back massage because that's that'll make me feel good. So we're doing that later and then we'll go into the Apple store and talk to them and maybe buy a new laptop. But yeah, I just thought I'd bring you up to speed because it's been a while. Hmm. And I will do a full video about this um, on my main channel about my IBS issues. Once I've met with a dietitian, once I've figured things out a bit, because I feel like I don't want to talk about it until I know and I'm like better. Because I know that this is a flare up and I know that it will calm down. But it's really hard for me because you have an appetite. It's not like I'm sick and I don't have an appetite, so it's fine not to eat very much. Like, I have an app, like a raging appetite. I'm someone who gets so hungry. I eat a lot of food. So, to not be able to eat as much food because you're ill is really hard. It's so annoying. I've never had that before because usually when you're ill, you just don't have an appetite. So it's a very weird situation to be in. And I'm always hungry, but then you think, if I eat this, I'm going to get sick. So... Mm. Anyway, we've spoken for 10 minutes, but Sorry. it's fine. That's the video, everybody. No, it's fine. I think that people like hearing about what's going on. Yeah, well, we need to catch them up. You can always put at the beginning, you can always put skip to 10 minutes if you're not interested in <laughs> IBS problems. Yeah, yeah. Oh, your new laptop. You can charge it with my phone charger. Ooh. 
exciting. That is exciting. But um, let me know if any of you guys deal with IBS or digestive issues in general and like what you've done and to help because I got so many messages from everyone saying it's really nice that you're spoken about speaking about it because I feel really alone. And apparently one in five people go through it in their lifetime. So it's really common. And I bet you probably either have it or know someone who has it. So I think more of us need to talk about it because people just pretend they don't have digestive issues and they just deal with their problems and they deal with feeling crap. And I know that it really helps. I don't actually care about sharing. I'm so past the point now I'm on YouTube. I'll share anything. Anyway, I'm gonna go shower because I look hmm. pretty awful. I think it's haircut day to day. Look at that. I look like gonna um, get a haircut. Super Saiyan. Well, no, my hair will be You blonde, shaved your beard as well last yeah, night. Yeah, I'm like halfway there. <laughs> so now I'm like a child again. Oh, there's the little update. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you tomorrow, no. We'll, um, we'll get back to you maybe later when we're going into town. Yeah. <sighs> so things escalated quite quickly. I got ill again and I had to nap and I feel exhausted and tired and horrible. Ha <laughs> ha. And it's really frustrating because I had oats for breakfast and then I had oats again for lunch. And I'm beginning to think it isn't like a food intolerance or a food sensitivity issue, it's that I'm having an IBS flare up and it's the quantity of food. So because I hadn't like gone to the loo, sorry to share this much information online. I know that that's maybe too much info for some people, but I think just all that food sitting in my stomach, it irritates my stomach and it can't digest it, which is obviously really hard because my stomach's, my digestion is being really slow right now. So I had to nap and I had to cancel my massage, which is annoying because I woke up like five minutes before we were supposed to leave. I don't think we can, I can go to the Apple store, but Alex is actually gonna buy it online because we found it cheaper on Curry's, right? We did. Your t-shirt. My t-shirt. Yeah. It's Checking out my guns. Put it down, it's annoying me. There we go. Are you gonna get some new t-shirts? No, never. I will never change my t-shirts, even if they make my face look red and horrible. You have to tell people what you're on about. We got an email from someone, not a mean email, but- well, I was bloody mean. Well, not necessarily, it wasn't like mean, it wasn't like angrily written, saying that my t-shirts were too, the, like the wrong color or too colorful for my, uh, like the skin complexion. Was it? complexion, that's the word, and, and the color on my face because it brings out the red in my face, which I kind of already no, knew. No, it's mean and they should never have sent it. Yeah, but I don't really care like what t-shirt I wear. So. No, Alex is gonna keep his t-shirts because they're his t-shirts and he loves them and he looks great in them. Don't we think so, viewers? Alex looks great in his t-shirts. He doesn't need a new, new wardrobe like the person suggested. Thank you. <laughs> Alex has asked me to pause because he's having problems with something. I've never felt so fed up with an illness before in my life, or at least of what I can remember. I've never felt so irritated because food is such a fundamental part of your life and your day and to feel like every time you eat, you're gonna get ill. I just wanna eat, I'm so hungry and every time I eat, I get sick. It's so frustrating, it's so frustrating. I'm so sorry to all of you who have to deal with this all the time. I don't know how, like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to solve the problem. I don't know how long it's gonna go on for. I just feel like half of a person. I feel like a shell of me, I'm like, realizing how amazing it was to feel healthy and vibrant and energetic. Poor me, I'm feeling sorry for myself today. I know that there's, I know I have lots to be grateful for and I do have to remind myself that there could be worse things, but it's just hard. <laughs> it's just hard. All right, that's right. So you know when you, when you buy something that's really expensive and you have to like triple check everything. One, uh, touch bar, uh, okay. All right, are we ready? We're ready. Give me a countdown. Three. Two. Wow. One. <gasps> Denied. <laughs> I'm already going to say something like, sorry, your voucher code is eligible. Your order was placed. I feel like Alex is more excited by this than me. I'm excited for you to have a laptop that works editing. Yeah. Like it's quick when you edit, so you can actually watch stuff instead of it being like a stuttery mess. Like I had to edit on your laptop in Porto once and it was a bit of a pain. Yeah, I have to put up with it lagging when I try and so when I'm editing the, when I press play to watch it back, it will la start to lag. So I have to then pause it and start again. And it means that probably the time I'm taking to edit is doubled. So this is gonna be so exciting. And I can actually, on my current laptop, I can't save anything on my laptop. I literally have no folders, nothing, because there's no space. It's gonna be so nice to have space and I can actually save things on my laptop. So there's another like backup basically of my stuff. Cause right now everything's just on my hard drive. So we've got another hard drive and everything will be t double backed up. 
Yay. So excited. And we got it in space grey. We went for space grey because this one's silver. Oh gosh, that little USB went down the hole. Uh, got it. So this one's the silver one and I thought I'd go for space grey because I feel like silver, silver's the ones that are older and I thought it'd be a bit new, nice new thing to go yeah. for. That's cheered me up a bit. I feel like I'm not, my energy isn't as high as it should be, but it has cheered me up a bit. That's cheered me up a bit as well. I right. thought Alec, you, Alex is the sort of person who doesn't like go buying things like that. So I thought you would be a bit like grumpy. I don't like impulse buying things like that, but we've been thinking about that for months. Yeah. Um, it's quite nice to get it ticked off. And if I can get a good discount, if I was paying full price, I'd oh, be yeah. a bit resentful. Off the RRP, let me just calculate, we got... That's a lot off. £250 off yeah. the RRP for a MacBook, which is, a lot is of money. unheard of, because Apple never have like, no. discount codes and stuff. Because the reason it took so long just then, I switched accounts and it wouldn't let me do the code, and I was like, oh no, they've latched on to the fact that they shouldn't have the discount for Apple products, but then it worked on the other one. As long as I don't get an email saying, unfortunately, we've had to cancel your order. I've had so many of them. Really? In the past few months oh, from my. stuff. I ordered something this morning, like a little Pokemon badge. It was 95p. And I thought, Why? Oh, that's cute. Free Why delivery. do you buy <clears throat> shit like that? Because I want to put it in my backpack. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I got an email just now saying, sorry, we actually don't have any stock in our warehouse and it shouldn't have been on our website. We've refunded you. The good thing as well is it's going to be kind of like an exchange <laughs> because... I'm going to sell my laptop. Last time I sold a laptop, we got quite good money for it. So, and I'm also selling my camera. We've sold one of them today. I posted on Instagram and the other one, there's quite a few people interested and we mm. talked about that in the last video, but, um, so that means that that's a good chunk of money towards it as well. Cause the last time I sold a laptop that was broken, I got like 370 quid for it or something crazy. So yeah. hopefully you should get like a few hundred quid at least for that laptop. Anyway, I feel like we've been very chatty yeah. this vlog. Um, Sorry if this vlog is really boring and annoying. Might be. It's like an inter... what's the word? Um, Sometimes you just have a vlog where you just chat. It's like an in-between vlog, between doing slightly more interesting things. And we were going to go and do nice things this afternoon, but then yeah. I got sick. That's the reality of life, isn't it? Some, some days you just, you know... I'm beginning to feel a bit better, but it's kind of like... It's like a catch-22. As soon as I start to feel better is when I'm ready to eat again, because I'm hungry, it's like coming up to dinner time again. And then it's like, okay, well, do I eat again and then feel sick? No, and I don't, imagine. also, I don't know what to eat because anything I'm eating is making me feel unwell. And I'm wondering, is it even what I'm eating? Is it just the quantity? So should I just eat what I want to eat in a small portion? I think small and often, well, not often, but... It's like really hard to know. Rather three slightly bigger meals, go for five. Yeah, I don't know. It's very First breakfast, second breakfast. But I did that but earlier. I had like a small bowl of oats and I had another small bowl of oats and I got really sick. <sighs> It's a mystery, isn't it? It is a mystery. The workings of the human body. Oh, the dietitian did email me back, so she's free to for a phone call and to talk to her next week or the following week. So I'll have to do it on my own and figure it out by myself for a little bit. And I'm sorry if my channel is lagging in content because I just can't, I can't work, I can't film, I can't like stand up and cook and do those types of things and I feel this way. God knows what people do have IBS and they actually have to go to work because I don't know how you do it. I mm. literally don't know how you do it. I can't get my head around it and there's so many ideas. people who've messaged me saying they've had it for like 10 years and they've just had to deal with it and I just don't, I can't get my head around it. I'm just so, I guess I'm so spoiled with my health and being in good health. I just, when I feel unwell, I feel like debilitated. It's one of those things like you don't realise how good it is to be in yeah, good health until you're like, actually ill. Exactly. Like when I had the hay fever a few days ago and I was in, but you know, like when your whole sinuses are blocked up and you suddenly realise how nice it is just to breathe normally. Yeah. And you miss it. Hay fever is yeah. horrible. But like also IBS, the symptoms of IBS are really similar to like chronic illnesses that people have. So it feels like you're really unwell and it feels like you're really sick but you've just got a problem with your digestion because apparently digestion takes up 80% of your body's energy. So if you are digesting and it's slow and there's something going wrong, that's why you get exhausted and that's why you have to go to bed. Is that really true? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. So you, the reason your digestion is like your biggest thing that your body's doing, if you think about it in your stomach and your, in your main area of your body, what is it? It's mainly it's your stomach and then it's your large intestine and your small intestine and then your bowels. Like that's all of what's going on in here, right? Mm. So that is like the majority of the energy that's being used for your body every day. Well, well, well. So if you ain't, and it even comes up to your mouth and your throat, that's all part of your digestion. So if that's not working, you can't do anything. So it, that's why it makes people feel like they are like chronically ill. It makes people have like serious like symptoms. Anyway, <laughs> the chat is through the, the roof. Title this video. 
Listen to us talk for half an hour. Yeah, basically. Come and sit and chat with us. <laughs> Some people love... I love vlogs like that, you know. I like watching them every now and again. Put us on in the background. Maybe Alex yeah. should put a little disclaimer at the beginning of the video. Put this on in the background when you're really bored and you're doing washing up or something. Yeah. I do that in the gym as when well. you don't have to pay attention. It's like a podcast. Yeah, like a podcast. Yeah. We should start a podcast. Because you're watching one Especially like that, Alex. Though. Alex has such a radio voice. Like, go on, yeah. sp say, say something in a radio voice. Welcome to the Alex and Maddie radio podcast on 96.7 FM and digital. It's not on FM if it's a podcast. It will be soon. Oh, I'm right up close. ASMR. No! <laughs> I think that I I could potentially Just have... I could do the radio voice. No, what's, what does it they say? Like, Pirate FM. Come on down. Cornish I always think of the Cornish one where they say, come on down to Creeley's Adventure Park. Oh, that horrible advert. <laughs> they, women always put that voice on, don't they? They're like, come on down <sighs> with the family. <gasps> yeah, it's like that type of like stunted. <sighs> I need a poo. <sighs> You've never experienced a day like it. Come on to Disneyland Paris oh. and have a day like you've never experienced before. Buy five nights, get one night free. <laughs> it's Rachel Adadeji. <laughs> That's a bit of a niche, niche X Factor joke there. <laughs> oh, our friend Jasmine used to say that because on the X Factor he always used to say that and it just said she said it used to make her laugh. So she always used to shout, "It's Rachel Adadeji!" Oh god, that guy's done so well for himself. He has, course. yeah. Anyway, oh my gosh, we're chatting so much. Maddie's watching Love Island. Love Island Australia. It's yeah. if you know, if you like Love Island UK. Love Island Australia is the one. It's so much better than the UK version. Shh, I don't watch it. I don't pirate watch it, I swear. But it's on Daily Motion. but I don't watch it on there. I'm just telling you. Yeah, just your research is fine. <laughs> that's just my research. I don't actually watch yeah. it on there, but just if anyone was interested, yeah. then that's where you watch it. Okay. I like the colors you've picked here. You're like a slug. I am a slug today and for the last week. And always. No. Oh, it's gonna get haircut. I am. I was meant to be gone about an hour ago, but then my mum rang. So that was about an hour on the phone, and then my phone died. Fortunately, the barber's is open till seven. Look at that, wow. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Surprise! What do you think, Mads? It's too short. Too short. I've never seen it this short before on top. Yeah, it makes my head look a bit of a, like a pineapple. It's just that he's cut too much, much off the top. Hmm. It'll grow back quickly, your hair grows really fast. That's the thing, my hair grows back real quick, so I don't but care. It's a bit of a change. Oh, I love it. <laughs> you always look good, don't get me wrong. He looks lovely. I always but look good. Well, you do. You suit any hairstyle, you'd suit a shaved head, but like, I like it when it's, a, if I was to pick, I like it when it's a little bit longer. Yeah. I don't mind it a bit shorter because I know it grows quick and. Yeah. You look like you're out of Peaky Blinders. You have, doesn't Alex have such a good hairline? It's literally like it's drawn on. That isn't her, when you were walking past, I thought that was a, they chopped it like this. Yeah. But Alex's hairline is this, I've always thought this since I met you, you have a yeah. s straight line. It's very good, very good genetics. I have to thank yeah. your dad for that, I guess. Yeah, he has good hair. Yeah, but it's like, because most people's hairlines, like even mine, it does go back at the sides a bit, or it's a bit like, mm. doesn't, it's not straight. Do you see how it's not straight? Whereas yours is like, I've just had my um, dinner and I'm really struggling with the portion. Did you just have mash? I had mash and broccoli and gravy because, but I, mm. I had a small portion of it. Oh. I'm still so hungry. Is that my, did you eat all the broccoli? No. Okay. So I've got sausage, mash, broccoli, yes. gravy. Yes. It's the gluten-free gravy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Which is much tastier than normal. It is much normal. tastier than normal yeah. gravy, from Lena. I should hope so for the price. So but... we'll say goodbye. Yeah. And sorry Your for the rambles. Laptop is already dispatched. Yay! Exciting. We'll right. show it. We'll open it maybe in the next vlog. Yeah. I think when I have dinner and maybe have a shower. Yeah. Bye. See you next time. Oh, I forgot. I promised I would put the uh, me putting the. <laughs> that will make this vlog bloody put long. A, Maybe you'll put a time lapse at the end of the video. That's what I was going to say. I put a time lapse of me putting the washing line and the bike <laughs> up, like I promised you all. I haven't actually put the bike up yet. No. Do a time lapse at the end of the okay, okay. cleaning. This one will be a time lapse of the washing line. Go. Next one will be a time lapse of the bike. Go. Go.